Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with another Clash Royale episode, and we have something truly special to show you, but it's not for the faint-hearted. If you want to see a kid absolutely rage inside of this game, then stay tuned, we're going to get ourselves into the battle. Also, don't forget, we are doing the $100 14,000 gem giveaway this Sunday. So if you want to enter that, all you need to do is leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel right now. So here we go. The battle is about to commence. It is the Predator against General Tony. As I said, watch the entire video, guys. This battle only gets better as it goes along. And I'm pretty sure if this kid has like a little baby sister in the room, he probably rock bottomed her after I beat him. So check it out. He's dropped in a giant skeleton. And we have gone in with a dragon and some minion hordes on the right hand side. He's dropped a free spell. But we've already done so much damage to the tower. That is fantastic already. We've already done a lot of damage to that tower. And I feel like, you know what? He may already be starting to get a little bit mad. But just wait for it. He's going to be dropping down a few minions on the right hand side. We're going to arrow those minions. The witch is still alive. The Valkyrie dealt with a giant skeleton. And now we're going to be able to take out the witch. So let's just give him a little laugh. Just to wind him up a little bit. Is he going to respond? Yep, there he is, guys. The first rage is already coming in. So it has officially started. We have already started to wind him up, but we are going to wind him up more and more. There's another rage for some random reason. This guy must be a pretty angry person. He needs anger management. So we're going to counteract. Sorry, not counteract. We're going to start a brand new attack using some barbarians and a balloon combo on the right hand side. And he's used a giant skeleton. I don't know why. And of course, that balloon isn't even going to need a free spell. We've already got down and taken out the first tower. Yeah. So he's dropped a witch right at the back there. The giant skeleton is going to be able to take out, of course, those barbarians and still be alive. But it has very minimal health left. So we're going to drop a free spell on the left tower just to annoy him. So the dragon can do a little bit more damage. And unfortunately here, I completely mess up. I throw down an arrow card on barbarians and a witch. And I knew at this point I'd lost the tower, guys. He drops down a free spell. Barbarians hit the tower. I try to counteract using a Valkyrie, but it's just too late and we have lost the first tower. So now we are head to head again. I've taken one of his towers and he's taken one of mine, but let's just get rid of that witch and that bomber and chuck down a fireball. So this is where it starts to get really serious. We've just entered double elixir time and it's time to push to the second tower on the left hand side and try and make this kid rage even more than ever before. And he is going to just stay tuned, guys. It's going to be awesome. So we drop down the balloon and the dragon combo. Free spell onto the tower. The minions target the balloon, but then lose sight of it and actually allow it to take a shot off onto his tower. So his giant skeleton's coming now. It's still coming. We're going to fireball the tower, hopefully take it down a little bit of health. Knowing that there's not long left in the game, we are going to be able to arrow the tower and guarantee that that tower falls down. So he's laughing thinking that he's won the game because he thinks he's going to be able to take out my tower. Is he going to be able to do it though? He's got a giant skeleton, loads of troops there. I drop a free spell on his troops, raging him up even more. We are about to arrow his tower on the left hand side. He thinks he's won and there we go. It's 2-2. Two, two. So this is where it really starts to get insane. So we managed to fireball the rest of his troops. He drops down a minion horde right next to my main tower. We counteract it with a baby dragon and now we can start the counter attack guys. This is where it's going to be insane. Insane. The dragon is moving in onto his half of the base. He's dropped down a giant skeleton once again very slow Not the greatest move. We've gone in with the balloon and the minions He drops in a witch, but the minions destroy the witch. He drops a free spell on my minions I drop a free spell on his tower. He drops in a wizard trying Desperately to protect the tower, but it's not gonna happen and look at that guys We have got the victory and he rages once again it's not over yet, guys. It is not over yet. We are about to show you a second attack, and this one, it, it just gets even better. This kid probably burnt down his house. Oh, his name is Burn. I honestly never realized his name is actually Burn. So here we go. We're, we're going to wind him up. Look, we got a fireball in our deck. We're going to throw the fireball and a barbarian pack down just to annoy him a little bit because the fireball is really going to wind him up because we've basically done damage to his tower in the first second. So there we go. Barbarian's going down. And the fireball, and look at that, he dropped the musketeer right on the fireball. So the musketeer's lost loads of her health already. Let's see if we can get some damage off to that tower straight away. No, we can't. We dropped the free spell, but it didn't quite work. It doesn't matter, though. All of his troops are bunched up together, took out the musketeer and the minions already, giving him a little laugh. He's giving me a little thumbs up back, but he's definitely raging inside already. So we're going to wait and build the elixir up a little bit, and then we are going to do a small push onto the right-hand side tower to see if we can get it. This, this is the biggest clutch, I think, 
I have seen. I mean, I watch Clash Royale TV and I haven't seen a clutch just like this. So this is why I think this, this kid must have burnt down his house because this is pretty damn insane. So he comes in with a barbarian. Of course, we are going to be able to counter them straight away using the Valkyrie or even the Minion Horde, really. So here comes the balloon. This is where it really starts to start out. He drops in a rage spell on the balloon, and then I use the dragon and the minions to kill the balloon. Now, it does get a shot off onto my tower, but I don't really mind. We're still in the early stages, nowhere near double elixir. He throws in the arrows, but my dragon reaches his tower and does a small amount of damage, and we drop in a free spell just to make sure the dragon can do that little bit more. So he drops in a musketeer, kills the dragon, and now start to proceed to my side of the base, obviously. Dropping a fireball, takes out the little goblins, and does a lot of damage to the musketeer. So now it's time to really proceed and try and take out that tower on the right-hand side. Here we go, guys, building up the elixir once again. And my favorite card to use to wind people up is got to be the balloon freeze combo, because it just works so damn well. But he also has a balloon Except we saw earlier on he used a rage spell with it and it's very likely that he's gonna do it again to try and take out my tower So we're gonna hold back for a second and see if he drops in a balloon Is he gonna drop in a balloon? He comes in. Yeah, there he goes guys He's dropped in the balloon. You can expect a rage spell to come in. Is he gonna use the rage spell? Don't forget we have a free spell to use on the balloon. There we go He uses the rage we waited for him to use the rage and we have just dropped the free spell Meaning he has just wasted a lot more elixir than I have so we are gonna now push to the tower on the right hand side Drop in a balloon threw in some arrows hoping the minions were gonna be spawned a little bit further back But it doesn't matter. We are gonna fireball those minions. We did didn't do any damage to the barbarians, but we will be able to counteract the barbarians and those goblins using a single Valkyrie. So here it comes. It is about to go into the overtime, and this is where it starts to get real nail biting. He throws in a balloon, arrows my minions, and I drop a free spell on his balloon to make sure he cannot reach my tower. So we are about to go into the overtime. Here we go, guys. Gonna build up some elixir now to make sure we can do a good counter attack. So he's dropped in a Valkyrie. We are gonna send in a baby dragon, throw in a barbarian card, and fireball his troops just to see if we can do a lot of damage to them. So we're gonna try and build up a little bit more elixir and go in with one final push using a balloon. Is he gonna be able to take out our balloon using the minions? Is it gonna reach the tower in time? No, we free spelled on those minions, but didn't quite get them. So we're gonna throw arrow down and take out the minions. So here we go. He is now sending in a balloon on my side. He used the arrow thinking I was gonna throw down minions, but it was just way too late for him. So here we go. It's our time to counter attack. We are gonna use the fireball with the minions to take out a little bit of damage to his tower and do damage to the musketeer. He uses a defensive minion horde to kill my minion horde. We drop down a baby dragon to kill his minion horde and then the final card both of us play a balloon at the exact same time which one is going to reach the tower is it going to be ours we throw down a free spell our balloon reaches the tower and does the one bomb drop and gets us the ko honestly i have no idea how i won both of those attacks don't forget guys to leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel right now to have a chance to win 14,000 gems. I will see you very, very shortly for another one. Thank you so much for the support. Love you all guys. Peace out.